whole life of motocross, I've always been intrigued by titanium foot pegs. You see them on the factory bikes, you always wanted to have a set of titanium foot pegs. And one thing we wanted to do here at Nihilo when we first started making some pretty trick products is make a, a one-piece titanium foot peg that the pros would have, that we could make available to the entire uh, community of motocross riders and people out there that, that love trick stuff and motorcycles. I guess the reason that one-piece titanium pegs haven't been done in the past is because of the expense, the difficulty in making them. But we had the ability, the know-how, the machines, the passion to do it. And we decided, you know what, let's make these things available to every, every guy. Uh, they're not inexpensive, but they're, they're worth it. So uh, it was really fun to, to uh, make a piece that could be given to the public, sold to the public, put on their bike, and the guy got the same exact pegs that Ryan Dunphy rides with every weekend and, uh, it, and, and gained the same advantage that he has. So it was pretty, it's, it's fun for us. That's the passion we have for the sport, to know that uh, the stuff that we make is, is appreciated by the riders and, and, and uh, works. When machining anything, preparation is key. You have to have all your ducks in a row. There's a full day of setup. I'm cleaning all my tool holders, making sure all my tools are nice and sharp, nice and rigid, as stubby as they, as they can be, causing you know, the least amount of vibration as possible. The titanium stock is cut into two inch by two and a half inch and five inch blocks. Now it's not good enough just to take it off the saw, they have to be stock prepped, which means I need to put it in a mill, square it up, because that titanium needs to be exactly where I think it's at when I come in and start attacking this. So when I'm milling titanium, I need to make sure my setup is completely rigid. I, I'm using 304 stainless jaws for my first and second operations, along with Mighty Bite Talon grips holding onto this stuff. So the compound angle of this peg forced us to make a whole separate fixture. We have to hold this thing 90 degrees with the earth so I can get an accurate diameter for the, for the pin to fit through so that we're mounted up correctly on the bike. Our top Nihilo Tribe riders demand a nice sharp foot peg. They need to be planted when they're going through the whoops fourth year wide open. So we developed a, a custom ground 40 degree taper bit to run these teeth. We also have a 12 degree taper on the inside, making sure that they've got a solid foundation that they can stand on. When the last operation finished up, engraved our logo on there, shipped them out to the training facility up in Northern Florida where uh, factory Red Bull KTM riders, Ryan Dungy and Marvin Muskman were training. And the feedback we got back from them was tremendous. They, uh, they said they never felt so confident in the whoops before in their lives, which was very rewarding for us from all this hard work. After hearing that kind of feedback from top riders, we can't wait to make pegs for the, the entire industry. Passion for innovation is not just a cheesy slogan here at Nihilo Concepts. If we're able to enhance a rider's abilities through something simple as a titanium foot peg, that's, that's what keeps us going around here.